Welcome to the farm. Welcome to the farm. I'm Justin, and you can tell behind me, we finally got some snow. This is way overdue. We should have had a lot of snow by now, end of January, but I'm not complaining. The uh, downside though is I don't get to play with my tractor as much because there's nothing to do with it. The ground's frozen and there's no snow to move. So today, I get to get my Kubota out and play with my Kubota. Let's get started. So really this isn't very much snow, obviously. It's more of just a, a dusting, but it still felt good to get the tractor out, move a little bit of snow, work the loader a little bit. We did end up getting a bunch of snow in the afternoon and overnight. We ended up getting like nine inches, so I came out the next morning and plowed again. Fortunately, I wasn't able to get any footage of that because of time constraints. I just, I had to get the driveway cleared. We had somewhere we had to be. So unfortunately, I didn't get any video of that, but we did get this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you. 
So that takes care of the barn driveway. Now we can go head over to the house and take care of the house driveway, which is much smaller and a lot quicker to do. You can see the, the snow is starting to move in, starting to get a little bit heavier. And as the day progressed, it just got heavier and heavier and it just, it came down and, and didn't stop. But it was sure beautiful while I was plowing. So over the summer I made a change to this section of the driveway here. It actually wasn't a driveway, it used to be just a, a small little one person walkway with railroad ties lining the side of it. And I ripped out the railroad ties, put in gravel, made it wide enough to get a car up there. The main reason I did that was for this. So I could plow with the tractor instead of having to shovel the whole walkway all the way down the hill. And let me tell you, that alone was well worth the work to change it. Plus Dana likes it too because now she can back her truck right up to the door and make it really easy to unload. Alright, well that's the, the plowing done for now, and uh, obviously it's snowing so I'll probably have to come back out and do it again. We're supposed to get two to six inches tomorrow and tomorrow night, so there'll be more. But I happen to notice a big open area here with some compacted snow. I think we should do something about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this snow plow video. I know I had a lot of fun making it, and I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.